And I'm back. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What does YouTube think I want a nigga? <laughs> Is difficulty eating New York pizza? How about it? You know how much I fucking hate ads? Like scale of one to ten. I don't know about you. And if you feel the same, let me know. Scale of one to ten. I fucking hate advertisement. I hate it. Like with a passion. Hate advertisements. I know we all kind of need them to exist, not for ourselves to exist, but we kind of need ads to exist. But they are fucking annoying. If it's one thing in this world you can't escape, other than the judgment of your god and a baby, it's fucking advertisements. Anyway. Think of the best place you can get an amazing slice of pizza. Just the best, juiciest, most delicious slice you can think of. Okay. Uh, I'm going with, maybe it's the Detroit thing. Maybe it's a me thing. I'm going with, um, I know I'm going to get hate for this. I'm going with Jets. It's not a Michigan thing, and it's not a safe play. Everybody don't like Jets, and Jets doesn't always agree with my stomach. But if I just want to go grab a slice on the fly, that's where I'm pulling up. Just the best, juiciest, most delicious slice you can think of. Where on earth is that slice? That's right. Italy. New York. It's New it's York. Italy. Recently, Kelly and I set up he a trip to go to friends <laughs> in New York. Uh, this is Kelly, by the way. I don't think I've introduced her to you yet. Kelly, meet subscribers. Subscribers, meet Kelly. <laughs> We're gonna go see friends. It's very exciting. Yet there was one thing I had on my mind for this trip Pizza I see in media all over the place. Hey, New York slice this New York slice that I'm walking here walking here. So I created this image in my head. I'm like wow New York slice pizza must be I feel like that joke is only still funny to people that don't live in New York <laughs> or that haven't been there a million times Like the best pizza ever and now I am landing in a place where that pizza is so the day comes around, we're ready to fly, but as luck would have it, our flight is canceled due to weather. But good news is that there was another flight with a little detour to Chicago that could still get us there the same day. So we get to the airport, but bad news is that pesky little weather problem comes rearing its ugly head once more. And normally that's not a problem, but our connecting flight would then take off before the first one lands and then we would just miss it. I was feeling a little spicy, so I said, Kill. If we go and lose the bet, then we're just stuck in Chicago and we grab a hotel, get some room service, and party like we're stuck in Chicago with no responsibilities because that's literally what would be happening. Or we go. Somehow the second flight also gets delayed. We go to New York and we're back on track to get exactly what we wanted in the first place. That's a win-win. Life is short. You know, you gotta be crazy sometimes. Make bad decisions. So we did. So we're on the plane. It takes off. The flight went fine. There was no peanuts though. <laughs> the airplane with the legs is fucking hilarious. <laughs> the airplane with the legs is great. But, I like that's that. A, you gotta be crazy sometimes. Make bad decisions. So we did. So we're on the plane. It takes off. <laughs> the flight went fine. There was no peanuts, though. How am I expected to survive and thrive in these conditions? We land, and our second flight is delayed. But it's on the other side of the airport. It's leaving in like 45 minutes, and we're on the back of the plane. So we have to run. And while we're running through the airport, we're like taking wrong directions, getting lost. Kelly's bag actually bursts open. Oh, God! And when we finally find our gate, we're actually 20 minutes early. And then some guy laughed at me. Turns out we didn't need to run at all. I was sweaty, tired, embarrassed. But, you know, I didn't care. Pizza's- You ever been late for a flight? And you know, once you get to the terminal, you weren't late for the flight. It makes it where you're like, I feel stupid. <laughs> I feel like an idiot now. Thanks. Because I just rushed my ass all the way over here for nothing. And now I got to sit here sweaty, which is something if you're taking a flight like most people, you're not trying to fuck up how you look because you're trying to look good when you get where you're going. You know, like. I, I, I've had that happen to me a few times. I hate that. It's on the way. I feel great. And the trip isn't even over yet. The plane had even more complications, if you can believe it. But hold on. Um, I need to be somewhere. I'll be right back. This video is sponsored by... One in the chat if uh, <laughs> I'm an asshole for 
skipping through the ad. I don't want to, but I want to. <laughs> you know what I mean? Keep your life. So we get on this next plane, the connecting plane. We couldn't leave for an extra they really 40 are. minutes it's because of the bad weather that had happened before. And there was talk, there was discussion from the captain. He's like, hey, guys, if we fly out tonight, we might just land in D.C., which, you know, not what I paid for, but I guess it is the preferable option, all things considering. Eventually, things cleared up. He's like, okay, let's go. What? Then there was like a shift change in the pull crew, so nobody was present to move the plane to the tracks runway. So we were just stuck, like... This whole trip just to get to New York was exhausting. Eventually, the plane Sounds flies like in New York. The turbulence wasn't too bad. We do land alive. After we land, we try to take a taxi and almost get scammed because I was too tired to realize there was just some random guy trying to charge people several times higher than actual taxi rates to drive people into the city. But then we got suspicious and just went on a normal taxi. It's 3 a.m. We get to the apartment and we are beat, beat to the bone. Think about that New York hustle. <laughs> that's got to be a little, that's that's one of them little slide throughs you just got to pull out when you got time, right? You're a New York resident. Well, I, this shit, that might fly in any city, actually. Around the world, that might fly. You just pull up with your whip to the airport, 3 a.m. Need a ride, nigga? $200. Come on. God, nah, come on, I'll take you where you want to go. I'm just charging you quadruple what the fuck you would get charged by anybody else out here. It's 3 in the morning, nigga, you need a ride. Come on, let's go. Never thought about that. That's, that's, that's kind of smart. It's 3 a.m. We get to the apartment, and we are beat, beat to the bone. But you know what? Pizza's on the horizon. So the following day, immediately, the first thing I see when I get outside, we see a lizard on a leash. There's people <laughs> everywhere, and everybody's hot. Is that not always fun when you see a lizard on a leash? How many times have you seen a baby alligator on a leash? I've seen it a few times. It's never not fucking cute. It might just be an American thing. Beat to the bone. But you know what? Pizza's on the horizon. So the following day, immediately, the first thing I see when I get outside, we see a lizard on a leash. There's people everywhere, and everybody's hot. It's insane. The most I can dress up is like a shirt. Maybe break out my nice jeans if we're really going out. But the people in New York, they're like two ends of this fashionable spectrum. They're either fashionable gods that just walked off the runway, or they just like got run over which can also be considered fashionable. Generally, wherever you walk in New York, you're walking over trash, but then you turn to your right and it's the most pristine, pure store that you've ever seen. It was the most contrasting place I've- Time out. I've been trying to figure this out, this whole video. Are we still not talking about why pizza is difficult to eat at the five minute mark? But um, this is just basically his story of his trip to New York with his girl, but what is this hairstyle? Is it three fingers? Is it uh, a hat? Is it an an afro on a stick figure? Does that count? I don't know. Three separate beanies. Yo, I didn't think about that. <laughs> three separate beanies. He got each one of them bitches perfectly cocked <laughs> to sit properly <laughs> three separate beanies is hilarious it was the most contrasting place i've ever been in my life there was no middle ground for anything but all in all i'm really charmed by new york and it took a couple days after we arrived but we think after a day of touring maybe you let's get some get drinks the pizza. and then go eat that pizza get that new york slice and i'm ready for it we find our this pizza place almost literally a hole in the wall and it's everything i imagined there was this good amount of wear and tear no door and no wider than two people laid sideways look at the signage on this thing now that is always a good sign of a good food spot it's not it's not dirty enough to like not be edible but it's just dirty enough to be attractive to the people that you want to be around and uh enjoy a meal with you know what i mean and that you probably won't cook in for you there's just certain type of spots certain corners and uh blocks and just places in the world where you just know when you see the signage you see the the decor the any of that you walk in depending on how you get greeted 
what they got going on in the back, in the front, maybe to the side with the people eating there. You just kind of know, yeah, this is, it's like a bodega in New York. It just feel like home. You know what I mean? You know when you walk in one of them, when you like, oh, I'm going to get a good meal about this bitch. You said $3? Bet. I got you. I immediately fell in love. I got myself two slices and a Dr. Pepper, and the wait is finally over. I finally get to take my bite. Let me explain this flavor to you. The cheese tasted stale. There was a subtle hint of cardboard in every bite. And do I sense a hint of came out of the oven 20 minutes ago? And by golly, is that 10 times my daily salt intake? And all that sounds pretty bad. But I am dead serious when I say that was one of the best slices I have ever had. Think about it. Has food- I mean, is it just me? Or did he kind of just shit on everything I just said? <laughs> like. No, nah, nigga, that's 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 why it's dope. That's that's why it probably tastes good. That's why it was one of the best slices you've ever had. That little hint of cardboard, too much oil, is really loud in the restaurant. The nigga that cooked it probably got some sweat on it. You know what I mean? I said that was one of the best slices I have ever had. Think about it. Has food tasted better after you've been eating a lot of it or after your great amount of effort? And so like, I guess what I'm trying to say, it's not really about the destination. It really is about the friends you make along the way. Nah, I'm just kidding. I just really like salt. <laughs> <laughs> you could win life. <laughs> Who is this? Who is this guy? Ice cream sandwich is this page. Got two point two million subs. I like that. <laughs> I like that. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna take a picture of that so I can go back to his page. I like that. 